Let's take a look at some uh, approvals. We have the approval flow codes we have to look into. And uh, let's open the list up and take a look at these new features or this new selection method, as it says here in the middle, uh, a new field we have added. And if I edit the list, we get a nice overview and possibilities to look easily into the list. I have four flows created for today's demonstration. And um, we have also four uh, possibilities in the selection method column. So we could choose all, first qualified, also first qualified, or initial and first qualified. Uh, it looks like this if I look into the overview here. And uh, to start out with, I will explain what all does. And that is actually the same uh, behavior as we uh, used to have in, in, in the approval flow code, meaning that the number of approvals that I have here, the four people, Robin, Esther, Lena, and Jim, they will all receive the document during the flow. And uh, nothing has changed. We will not have, have any limit to uh, include them or keep them out of the flow. They are all included always. So this all is like the standard behavior. But if you look at the next one, flow B, the first qualified, uh, that would uh, trigger which colleague can actually release the document that one only person that is needed. So let's uh, look into the list and see that we here have a, an approval amount limit applied to all the approvers. And uh, let's say we have a document that uh, has a total amount of 30,000, then uh, the solution will look into the approval flow code and figure out that 30,000, then we need Jim to approve the document and only Jim. Uh, it would not uh, land on Robin's, Esther's or Lena's desk because they cannot release the document. Uh, meaning that choosing first qualified will find that one person that can release the document and skip all the other uh, colleagues, ensuring that they are not being disturbed by this detail. Um, the third flow is, uh, is a mixture of uh, A and B, you could say. We will include all the um, approvers uh, from the start of the list until we, we re reach the one that can release the document. So if you look into the list and say that we have a document of uh, 10,000, then we would include Robin, Esther, and Lena. But we will stop uh, with Lena. Jim is not needed because the invoice was only 10,000. And as we see, Dina has 20,000 as her limit. And that should be sufficient to release the document. And again, we will uh, not bother Jim with documents that is uh, not, uh, where, where he's not needed in the, in the flow. Flow D is, uh, is a mixture of, you could say, B, first qualified, and then uh, something brand new that we uh, grab the initial, the first one in, in the flow, and in combination with the first that is qualified. So let's take a look at the list and say that uh, the invoice here was 30,000 again. Then we would have, uh, of course, Jim included because he can release the document. Uh, but, the, but when the type is chosen to be initial and first qualified, we will also have the uh, initial one, the top one in the list, and that would be Robin. So in this case, it would be Robin and Jim that will re receive the document, and Esther and Dina will be skipped. Please note that the approvers applied in this list are sorted by the amount limit. So if you change the amount limit, they will be uh, repositioned in the list uh, because the flow uh, is triggered uh, through the, the level. So the one with the lowest amount is chosen first and then uh, uh, down through the list. Let's try out uh, these different flows on a real document. Uh, so I have my purchase invoice list here. And we have one nice document from White World Importers. We have a total amount of uh, 16,000. See that here. And if I try to add a flow code, it would be the flow A with all approvals. And submit it for approval. So let's see what goes on. The document is now pending approval, we can see. And uh, if I look into the list of approvals, we can see that all the four colleagues are included in this flow. As I would expect, due to the A 
flow is a, the one that includes all. So that's correct. Uh, it does work as it should. There we are. And if you switch over to the B flow, which is first qualified, we should only have one approver and the one that can actually release the document. Let's take a look at the list. The invoice was 16,000 something. That would be Lena that should approve this document and only her. And change it to B, yes, and submit it for approval. You will see that Lena Townsend is the only one that is needed. The list is is very short, as I would expect. The third flow, the C flow, also first qualified. We we'll definitely need Lena, but uh, who would be included from from the other areas of the list? That would be Robin. I can see that, and also Esther and Lena, but not Jim, as Jim has a limit that is way too high. He's not needed in this flow. And let's change uh, the proof flow code to the last one in the list, initial and first qualified. You probably already guessed what will happen. We have the same amounts and the same approvals, and the invoice is still 16,000. So we'll have Lena included definitely, and um, also one of the other colleagues, and that should be our colleague Robin Bettencourt. Yes, Robin and Lena are included in this flow. These changes in the pool flow code will uh, make sure that we only submit documents to colleagues that are needed in the flow, and we can through that uh, speed up the recognition process significantly. 